CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your DVR or NVR to the Super Live Plus app. So here I'm going to open the app by tapping it. I want to get notifications from the app, like such as push notifications, so I'm going to click Allow. And you can tap the skip button at the top right hand side to skip through all the splash screens. And then I'm going to tap start as I don't need to edit any of the local settings. It's going to ask you to agree to a privacy statement and I'm going to tap agree. Here it's going to automatically bring me to the add device page. If you don't reach this page automatically, then you first need to go to the live view page or the one of the menu options here and go to serverless. So you can either tap the serverless at the top right hand side or tap serverless by hitting the menu option and then tapping serverless. Here the serverless is what devices have been added to the app. There's no devices added to the app so I'm going to tap the plus icon at the top right hand side and then choose scan code to add. Now the app is going to ask for permission to use my phone's camera so that I can scan the code. So I'm going to tap OK to allow it. And now we're just going to get a peek of my desktop as I'm going to show you how to get to the code on the, the screen. So at your DVR's monitor interface, you need to first go to the bottom left hand side, log into the admin user first. I'm just going to use the graphical password here and then you can tap on the menu again or click on the menu again and then click on settings. Once you're in the settings or main menu you need to tap or click on network. It's going to take you to the network settings and then you need to go to the NAT tab in the network settings. Here is my code. Now I'm going to flip back over to the smartphone and scan the code into my phone. So now that I've scanned the code into my phone. I now have the serial number and then I just need to type in the password. So this is just the password that's found on the label on the top of my recorder which is the default password. So I'm going to click the save button. So it's going to ask if it can search my local network. I'm going to click OK in case it was on my local network and I wanted to search for it. This icon at the right hand side with the green bars means that my device has been successfully added. I can confirm that here in the server list. I have everything added with the green symbol and then I can confirm that by backing out, going to the live view. Here I have device name one selected. It's just the default device name and then I'm going to tap the one button. That's going to pull in channel one from device name one which is what my DVR is named at the moment. And now you can see I've successfully connected to my system over the internet because I'm able to access the first channel from my recorder. Hopefully this video helps you add your recorder to the app using the QR code. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.